uh, I guess most of you own smartphones here and a lot of new application development. It's app economy now. A lot of application development happens via the mobile. And uh, you want to say how application development done via the mobile or, or for the mobile is still relevant and how uh, the mainframe is the platform of platform of choice, right? And mobile is the computing device that most of us use now. We're talking about application development in this whole space from the mobile to the mainframe and um, how it's helping DevOps in the app economy. So I want to uh, talk uh, about uh, the importance of uh, System Z. Z, like uh, some of you may already know, is the uh, mainframe uh, platform, uh, stands for zero downtime. And uh, how is it uh, still relevant uh, in this age, right? Uh, and then we want to talk about uh, specifically development of applications that are diverse and in a heterogeneous environment that spans across multiple platforms, multiple technologies, and how all of that still use the mainframe. We are from the mainframe group within the CA Technologies uh, Division out, out at Hyderabad, so we want to say how is, it, how is this still relevant for all of you. Right? And then we want to talk about uh, the linkage between DevOps and the mainframe, and uh, uh, want to go through an uh, uh, instance of an end-to-end -end, uh, automation of the whole life cycle. Right? This is both the process and the application uh, life cycle. And how are we able to automate it from an end-to-end -end perspective for both application development and application delivery, both aspects. Right? And then finally, we want to uh, show how, our, how all of these are orchestrated across the whole life cycle uh, using the tools that we want to show as an instance that uh, we want to showcase today. And we uh, end with a uh, quick video demo, uh, which will uh, uh, elaborate these concepts for you very clearly. And we'll leave it out for Q&A. Right? Thank you. So uh, just a quick view, uh, System Z, uh, app economy. So we believe uh, it's still the uh, most strategic and the reliable platform. Um, like, uh, I, I don't know if you know this, but uh, on an average, an American knowingly, unknowingly spends are actually 15% of the transactions um, or 15 times in a day, any transaction that he does actually hits the platform, which is the mainframe, right? Knowingly, unknowingly. That's a huge uh, number, right? So, so that's why we believe uh, it's going to be strategic. There has been a lot of investment on the uh, mainframe aspect. Uh, we want to retain those investments. Our, our, uh, we see our customers retaining those investments and trying to use that as a strategy or a strategic way to have new application development done anywhere, right? In any, through web, through the mobile, uh, any other app. But still, the system of record is System Z. Right? So that's what I want to say. Uh, we are trying to, we have applications developed to execute uh, mobile to mainframe architectures and managed as a whole, um, which basically gives you visibility from an end-to-end -end perspective for a dev and operation persons, not, not siloed, right? And 33% um, of an organization applications are accessible on their mobile devices, and 35% of current mainframe applications are even accessible via the cloud. So this is this big push towards the new technologies and still retaining investments on the mainframe. So. so uh, the, uh, it's a picture of a guy who seems to be very worried as to what, what's going to happen to all my uh, investments that I've done on the mainframe. And uh, how, how can I make this as a technology enabler, as, a, as an engine for growth? Right? That's, uh, that's a concern. So like I said, Development per se on the mainframe for the mainframe is uh, we we should uh, we have seen and a lot of surveys point to it. We've actually seen also that they are actually legacy and they are declining, right? But what we are trying to say here is uh, development leveraging the mainframe, right? It can happen anywhere, like on your mobile device or or on a distributed platform. All of that go back as into into the mainframe, and that is new. And that's the use case we want to go through today. 
and that's growing. Right? So it's a powerful way to leverage the infrastructure that you have and look, look for growth. So um, very interesting statistics, still 5 billion lines of new COBOL code is being added to the life systems every year, right? So it's highly relevant. More than 90% of adults who own cell phones, 55% uh, have smartphones. What it means is they're using that to spend time on retail sites via the mobile devices, which eventually, like I said, on an average 15 uh, transactions uh, go back into the mainframe. And so, so, so what we want to say is in, the, in this way, in, in a way, the old and new are kind of converging and um, your mobile device is the primary computing device and uh, your system Z is the primary platform of choice. So feel free to ask questions anytime. Right? Just quick note on DevOps and mainframe. Uh, really don't want to talk about what DevOps is about. But we, uh, what we want to say is the important thing about these three aspects, communication, collaboration, and integration, which is also a key aspect of how you have, how you do your agile development or agile methodology, right, integration in your teams, right? So kind of emphasis that, and uh, we want to say how is that related to the mainframe? Um, so it basically needs a very tight coordination between your uh, development team, your system programmers, and the operations team. And uh, we have an in-house uh, tool uh, called Endeavor. That is an environment that helps both the development and the operations teams to work together and deliver code, uh, and deliver tests, and uh, deploy them faster. So what we want to say is uh, application development is not for the mainframe. We talked about it. So the Development for the mainframe, on the mainframe is obviously legacy and declining. Um, but uh, if you're not agile and if you're not going with agility, if you're not releasing quicker, faster time to market, um, you obviously die. So I'll pause here. Um, I'll have uh, Sirajal uh, take over a little bit more about what we want to say from a DevOps perspective and then a few more things on the complete life cycle automation. Thank you. Thank you. So before I proceed, basically from here onwards, what uh, I would like to extend upon what Ravindra has been saying, the challenges of DevOps and the agile development, I mean, these uh, two things, DevOps and agile development are not, uh, you know, separate things. I mean, they are both uh, complementary to each other. Whenever we talk of DevOps practices, uh, agile development and agility is inbuilt practice within the DevOps practices and how to address those challenges of DevOps, the traditional challenges that DevOps tries to address, how we address those challenges with the help of the application development tools, application development lifecycle tools that we have. So before we proceed, until this time, do you, any of, any one of you have any questions? <coughs> Not, uh, then uh, we proceed. <coughs> So this uh, diagrammatic representation is a kind of solution, an integrated solution, where uh, if you see on the left hand side, we have a couple of uh, product solutions like FileMaster and Intertest. These are testing tools on the mainframe side. And on the right hand side, again, see Gen and Plex, these are uh, development languages tools. And on, on the base, we, you have uh, CA Endeavor and CA Harvest. So these are software change management uh, tools and applications. So here uh, there is a convergence, as Ravindra mentioned earlier. So here there is a convergence of the mainframe and distributed platforms, which enables your application developers uh, to work on you know, both, both the platforms for faster application development and delivery. Yeah, just to add, uh, what we want to say is uh, we have things that we want to maintain and keep investments growing there. But we are also looking to modernize there, right? And using cloud and uh, front-end uh, mobile devices and with new logic, new UI, all that is getting done. And eventually, it all goes back and, and maintained uh, in the mainframe and keeping, keeping uh, the whole life cycle, right? Fully automated. And hopefully, it helps us go faster in delivering products. is the 
because uh, because of its importance, relevance, importance. So it is, is still, uh, as uh, Ravindra earlier mentioned, it, I mean, 70 to 75 percent of the transactions that is happening in this world today, as of today, is still happening on the mainframe. Right. It is zero downtime, and it is one of the most reliable platforms are still there. It is costly in terms of, but overall, if you take cost comparison, it is still cost effective. Migrating, I, yeah, yeah. Please. So, yeah, migrating out of it, right, is is a long process. We are not saying it's not feasible or possible, but just that people, uh, the big banks, right, uh, like FedEx, uh, the Social Security Administration, whatever. You look at the top uh, 500, the top 1,000 MNCs, right, Fortune 1,000 companies, right. Most of them have mainframes. Right? They're looking to leverage what they've invested in, right, and trying to see how how can they go and take on new technologies and and keep that investments and actually also move forward. Right? They're doing both. Right? Yeah. But right now, like like what Sir Rajal was saying, 70 to 75 percent of all the transactions happen on mainframe. Yes, sir. So the mainframe systems are typically are uh, in the mobile world or in the web world are mostly like cloud. Right? Yes. So the challenge that I have seen is in terms of the integration. So now, although uh, there's a Tipco on cloud, uh, yeah. there's a Dell, uh, there's something from Air Boomi is also there, which is on the middleware. But then the challenge always is there in terms of the integrating things which are hosted on cloud. How do you integrate it back to your mainframe or your like SSD? So in this presentation, would you be covering? Yes, yes this, this is what uh, this is what our story yeah, is progressing exactly. towards. Yeah, we are actually giving you a proposed solution, right, which actually integrates all of this and makes you go faster, both from a, the application delivery and application operational person, right? So, yeah. so uh, these are uh, a typical some of the DevOps solutions, uh, not the whole application development lifecycle solutions that we have. For example, I mean, it just uh, if you take the DevOps stages, uh, you know, developers are committing codes, then it is going through continuous integration server until it goes to production followed by operations. So at each and every stage, you have individual point products and solutions uh, that are helping you know each of the stages for example for continuous validation and automation testing you have see a lisa automation suite for uh, continuous monitoring you have application performance management and then uh, you have uh, for continuous delivery you have release automation solutions but at, at until this stage you have these solutions you know working in silos for that particular stages. These are still not integrated. So this uh, representation, okay, this graphical it. representation is where we are progressing towards. So here we have different tools for different stages of application development lifecycle. Just for the understanding, if you, if you divide the whole DevOps cycle between application development and delivery, the upper part you see it starts from ideation and you know it closes the feedback loop it closes the loop at the feedback so right from requirements to develop to build and then uh, you do delivery and deployment and then monitor at each stages you have uh, individual tools not only in house products but other, other third party products it integrates right. with yeah these are the third party ones these are already ca provided solutions right yeah. so we can choose anything you want and the interesting part of the story that we want to introduce here is all these uh, tools and solutions can be monitored and controlled and integrated and orchestrated through a single user interface that uh, we have a solution called application lifecycle conductor. And that is what the product that we are going to demo in a couple of minutes, how it works. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah, okay. so I think that gives yeah. uh, just a quick overview, um, given the short uh, 20 minutes time. Uh, if you have more questions, we are more than happy to happy, uh, more than happy to answer them. Uh, so you can talk yeah, about sure. uh, ALC itself. Yeah, so ALC is basically, uh, this is what, I mean, at different stages of your application development lifecycle, the different tools and solutions that you use, uh, you can uh, monitor uh, and, uh, you know, basically orchestrate all these uh, individual products and solutions through this ALC. It is kind of, you know, control center. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. So these are uh, some of the lifecycle processes that uh, can be uh, enabled by ALC. 
Okay, so this is pretty much it. Uh, I think uh, we will move to actually the demo, quick demo. So before I start, this is a recorded uh, video demonstration of uh, this tool called Application Lifecycle Conductor. So, so there is uh, already an application, a mobile application. So this is a hotel application. So the the change or the modification here, whatever is required is suppose there is a you know menu called facilities. We want to change it to comments. So this is the requirement. So this is how it goes. All right, we're going to quickly do a use case where we take a mobile application, which you're looking at on the screen right here, uh, that's backed by a mainframe web service, and we're going to make a few changes to it with uh, different CA technologies helping out along the way. So we're going to start off with the product manager who's going to use CA's newly acquired application lifecycle conductor to add a new work item, which he's got on the backlog, to an ongoing sprint. So here we're looking at him expanding the record navigator. He goes over to the backlog, selects the manage comments work item, and adds it to the sprint. Okay, so he's going to go and save. And when he does that, you can see that it comes off the backlog automatically and becomes part of the sprint. From here, he's going to assign the work item to a developer. Final, the application gets updated. This will be orchestrated through this tool only. Uh, user story and send them to the test management solution, and that could be used by the by the different teams to begin authoring test cases. Um, so, uh, in addition, what happens is ALC binds the user stories uh, to the test cases in the test management solution, so that the, the progress of the tests can come back. So he's going to up the task, update the task to completed, uh, and you can see it moves to the completed column on the um, task board. And then he's going to add the necessary details for. So here, what happened that you know after the requirements got added, automatically this tool is again integrated with HP QC. So uh, from here, from this tool itself, you can create test test management and your individual test tasks. And then uh, the task uh, test uh, uh, the test plan, your test task is completed in QC. Uh, there, the completion status is, is getting updated here. It's an uh, overall life cycle management across all stages, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So across each tool that we make a change and see, see integrate, test integrated so you can see that management. there is that we're going to um, the acting as dashboards. So once again in ALC now, basically uh, the sprint's done. You can see the um, product manager looking at the user stories in the sprint. You can see on the right-hand side they've all been accepted. Um, so uh, the next part of our process is uh, in, our, in our sample workflow is to create a change order. And if you look in the bottom right corner, you can see, uh, I don't know if you caught it, but um, the product manager actually pushed the um, the uh, the sprint into a change order in Service Desk, and in fact, Service Desk has a web-based plugin that allows us to show uh, what's going on in ALC um, right from within Service Desk. So the Service Desk analysts can use that button on the change order that was generated previously. So this to is the Service Desk the tool that is ALC integrated in ALC with. And so what it does ALC, is not it only these tools that are pre-integrated, the, um, the related uh, entity in this case, the sprint and. The uh, pre-integrated, but it also has a unique connector technology that other third-party products can be integrated with this other agile tools that you use. I think with this time is up. Uh, any closing comments that you would like? Well, I just uh, will leave for questions. Yeah, sure. Um, do you have, is there any tools in this for automated testing? Like there are unit testing tools for COBOL. Is there anything like that? for automated testing. So we have a, a release automation tools like Lisa, yeah, this right? Um, 
we would have unit test frameworks which are automated, right? Right? Yeah, that's yeah. 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 We, we, I think we talked uh, even yesterday a bit about it, like uh, extending G test for for the mainframe. So we have uh, started on that uh, journey, right? And now looking to see what are those unit tests that can be automated. We started doing that. Yes, yes, yes. We have an integration to the uh, uh, build systems that are on the mainframe, which we call Endeavor, and then we have uh, uh, SCM systems that are that we call Harvest that are for the distributed work uh, work that we do. So both of these, we have written plugins from this tool, which can go and talk to them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's sprints, but the whole life cycle. Life cycle, actually. Of, of uh, you are developing a new product or modifi developing a new application or modifying an existing application. So the sprints are, of course, your underlying activity as you you know you fo right. follow your agile practices, of course. Right. What kind of metrics do I get out of these? Metrics in terms of uh, reports and uh, other stuffs you see the whole I mean all kinds of reports that you can. I mean, at least the basics, for example, the burn down and all other stuff you want to see, the defect charts and all those stuff, it is already there. You, you can get metrics from uh, defect uh, tools that you normally would like to get, from the uh, uh, project management tools that you normally would like to get, and all of these come in a single pane of glass or single pane of view, right? So you're able to actually integrate all of these diverse tools across the whole uh, life cycle of, of from Let's say a mainframe developer, a distributed developer, everybody working, and then you're able to link all of them, integrate them, and uh, get uh, get a quick view of what's happening across your whole organization or across your whole development uh, teams. And so, so uh, supposedly, uh, I'm having like multiple projects, right? Yeah. Uh, and each of them are following scrum. Yeah. You should be. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we have actually those plugins, maybe. I don't yeah, know, we, it's I, in there. I just wanted to show that, but yeah, of course, we can connect everything. If the time is over, yeah. we will just, uh, you know, talk outside and see what we can do. I will give you a whole list of, you know, the connectors available, for example, for the defect management. If you are using Jira, that can be plugged in here. All yeah. the kind of reports that you can get from Jira can be displayed here, yeah. something like that. So what we want to say, conclude, is that uh, uh, app development on the mobile uh, as a primary computing device is going to be uh, very active, right? And uh, uh, we still, uh, and then the investments and the relevance of the mainframe platform is also so much relevant. So we are saying this is the mainframe, the uh, mobile to mainframe. Uh, uh, business will keep growing, right? So that's the message we want to say. And we have provided a solution here, potential solution. And it, it's basically about agility, going across all of your silos or all, across all of your uh, applications, across different teams, and being able to integrate, monitor, and and see progress uh, across the whole, uh, whole setup. So it's about agility. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you.